Hi guys, West Coast Arachnids. Um, it's been four days, but uh, my shipment finally arrived. Uh, it's Thursday, uh, 1 p.m., 1.21 p.m. It just came here a minute ago, so I'm going to get to opening this. Um, I hope they're okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to do this. Uh, just going to open them all up, see if they're okay, and put them back in the same vials they came in um, for now, and let them warm up, and then get their enclosures ready when I see what size they are. Scientific name of this it's a Costa Rica species. It's another one. There should be three of each. Another one. And these are the I species. I can't remember what the name is. It's Dominican Republic. <coughs> Dominican Republic, Brachypelma uh, alba apoplosum. Another one of those. Another one. Oh, there's four. Freebie. Awesome. Thank you guys. Tarantula Canada. This is Nandu Chromatis. Oh, that's three. And then <coughs> Cathascaria uh, Genoplata. There's three of those. Hold at the bottom of this. <clears throat> All the stuff out of the way. And I hope they're okay. <clears throat> Just gonna go straight into opening these up. There's uh, one of the little fellas. You can see him there. 
looks okay. That's the end chromatis. Uh, chromatis. Uh, I've got over here, I've got all their soil ready. Uh, looks like these are so small that they're actually going to be back into these probably for a little while. Um, Crawl off onto there. There he is there. Just looking in good shape. Just gonna get him to uh back in there. Put the lid on. <coughs> e. Never even looked inside. Crumble it up. <coughs> Next one. That's number two. Nothing on the lid. If you guys can see that, okay. I have to check the camera there. Yeah. And he looks good. I see him moving. Some looks like it's a tiny bit bigger. He's there. Neat little fella. Awesome. I can just get him to scurry back in there. First, they want to go into the folds of the paper. Okay, it's in far enough. This one won't catch his legs. It's an chromatis number two. <clears throat> a little closer and not be too far from the camera. You yeah, can get a look. Hopefully the camera's catching all this. I can't see it at all. Looks like it is. Awesome. I'm not too happy with Canada Post right now. They should have had these things here yesterday. There's no reason they couldn't have. I mean, it went straight from Quebec overnight yesterday. It didn't leave until yesterday. And then today, I mean, it went from, it, it went from Quebec to Richmond and from Richmond to Camber River today and now it's uh you know it was literally they could have done it in a day and a half two days but it's um we're on day four now and I'm, I'm literally kind of choked the amount of money they charge and then they uh let these things sit in shipping waiting to get it out I mean, these should take, it's live animals, should take priority. Yeah, 
and then once he gets to town, they had to deliver it. Like they processed it and delivered it all in the, in one day. So, I mean, once it reached town, it was simple enough to get it to me. It did take them. Oh, it said it went out 8:50 this morning, so it took them four. Four hours, over four hours to get it here. <clears throat> this is the uh, Acanthoscaria geniculata. Very, very tiny. These are just second instars. All of these, by the looks of them, very tiny. They look so similar. A little acrobatic in there. And there he is, climbing around in there. Like I said, I'm just getting them out right now because <clears throat> I'm worried about uh, their health, whether or not they're alive. Um, and then after that, I will I'll rehouse them. Give them some time to warm up. There's a little bit of moisture in, in these containers, so they got something to drink while they're they're waiting. And then they'll get to their temperature and and then I'll start moving them around into their enclosures. Right now these are just basically temporary ICUs until until I know they're okay. I mean they're moving around pretty good, so the heat pack was still a little bit warm. Top of the newspaper and stuff was warm, but the bottom, the bottom of the uh, newspaper they were all wrapped in was kind of cold. So let's see. I'm sure these guys could use a good warming up. They're cute little fellows, though, that's for sure. Holy cow, they're really small. I'm glad my mealworms are tiny right now. I mean, at least I got something to feed them and fatten them up. Tomorrow they're all gonna get. They're all gonna get a feed. Look at that little guy. So cute. Can't see scary Janiculata. I will put all the uh, scientific names and um, common names uh, below in the description. So check down there if you want to see what they are. <clears throat> and that's awesome. They gave me another freebie. Um, thank you very much, Tarantula Canada. Uh, talked to Amanda's ear off the other night. She's not feeling well. You guys are feeling well. Or feeling better. Bit of the flu going around in that area. Which reminds me I should probably wash my hands after I do this. Actually we get the flu going on around here too, so Another Canthoscaria. Tiny, tiny, oh, jumps down. Tiny little fellas. They're little jumpers, those Canthoscarias. Uh, let's go with the Pure Minia. I want to really get these opened. Um, these are the ones that I've been waiting to get for a long time. These are the Venezuelan Sun Tiger. Beautiful species. These ones are a little bit larger. Probably half inch. Yeah, a good half inch these ones. Oh, they're awesome looking even at this age. It's all webbed up in here. And he's going for a walk already. He's good. 
So that's awesome. They, they, they look in good health. Get you a look at them here in a sec. Wow. Come up on my hand. <laughs> so cool. They already have the uh, this tiger stripes on the rump. I'll get them up on my hand. Be nice and warm for them there. Look at that guy. I don't know if you can see the colors on them, but they're just amazing. I'll snap some pictures, put them on uh, uh, an update video once I get them in the enclosures, or maybe I'll do a rehousing video. For now, let's just get through all these guys. Beautiful, beautiful species. I was going to order um, what is it, the red bark scorpion. Uh, but I forgot. It probably could have fit into this order as well. There's another one. Looks good. Tumble, that was a nasty one. Nice and they're actually in, in uh, better shape than I thought they'd be. This is awesome. Come on, little guy. Why don't you just cooperate a little bit? Oh. Okay. What? Down onto the table. And it goes. There's, they're not <laughs> an inch and a half like the Eskimos were. Wasn't expecting that. Jumped right off the table and across the room. They're fast. Startled me at first. Chewing going on in there. Chewing your way out of here, buddy. Where are you? Yeah, I can see the shadow through the paper, so I'm uh, holding it up to the light. Oh, you're an awesome little fella. You look like you could eat, though. They sure like to leap. So cool. Okay, let's get you out of there. Come on. I'm going to pause you guys for a second. Alright okay, guys, sorry about that. Uh, my daughter is, uh, was just leaving and I had to say goodbye. And this is uh, Brachypelma albopolosum.
Very tiny. They're all about quarter inch. Very, very, very tiny. So they will be all pretty much staying in these other than the Pyramidia, which will get a taller, a little bit larger enclosure. Very tiny. Some number two. These are so small. See that little guy? No, well you can see it. There he is. Tiny, 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 tiny little fella. Walk in there nice and gentle. It's really warm in here, so they should warm up pretty quickly. Nice and humid. So far, the uh, I look to it, the <clears throat> Nandicratus seem to be smallest of the bunch. Uh, this one's a better size. I think it had a, this one was molted. Either that or it's just a, one of the big ones of the bunch. A little bit bigger. Come on, those hooks are yours go. Can we go down into the bottom? There we go. So far we got 9, 12, another 7 to go, 19. <clears throat> we should grand total of 36 tarantulas all together with the ones I already have. I'm going to be doing a lot of rehousing over the next week. Might, uh, I might allow these guys to all just get at least uh, one molt in and then, then I'll start rehousing them. As I'm sure the ones I have can still stay in the containers they're in right now. They like to hang on to the edge of the lip with their hooks. Okay, just down there where the moisture is, get himself a drink. There we go, that's all the Biopopolosums. Now, I cannot remember for the life of me what the name of these are. 
Uh, it's a T. Oh, it's a really long name. Anyway, it's a Costa Rican. Um, if I remember right, these are the black triangle. <clears throat> they got about the size of a rosé. And they have a black triangle in the front of them. Right now they're seem to be all brown. Very tiny. I think even at this age you can kind of see a little darkness near the front where the triangle will be. Sorry about the lighting guys. Wish it was a little bit better. He's going to go for a little walkabout. It's awesome. They're all in pretty good shape so far. I hope I'm not mistaken this one. One of these is uh, Dominican Republic and one's a Costa Rican uh, species. And I believe the Dominican Republic is uh, a solid blue. They get about an inch and a half. Full grown, inch and a half to two inches. Like I said, I'll get the uh, scientific name in full and the um, common name if they have it uh, below. I'm really pleased with those pure mini. Oh, I've wanted them forever. These little guys were. They were all on sale. I mean, Trench Canada has awesome prices. Just awesome. And I'm pretty sure um, they can do import and export. Uh, so go check them out. Um, just type in Trench Canada in Google, you'll find them. I believe I left uh, on my last unboxing video a link to their site. This is another one of the Costa Ricans. They're very tiny. I'm really glad that my mealworm farm is kicking off right now and the mealworms are just perfect size for these guys. Awesome. I'll be able to fatten these guys up real quick. Get them uh, get them to the point where you know they're gonna molt. <clears throat> it's excellent. So far everything's great. Knock on wood. Hopefully there's no DOA. This is my biggest concern. I don't want these animals harmed because of the shipping. Amanda was very very good. You know, she calmed me down and uh, I was worried because the tracking bar wasn't moving at all. They had to actually do a trace on it <clears throat> and that I think got it moving. Uh, I don't know what happened. The last time it went out smooth without a hitch. Last time was my first time ordering online for any any type of live animal. So, um, yeah, it was quite. Uh, I was anxious. I was quite anxious. Uh, this time I was even more anxious because of the tracking problem. Um, and the delivery date had got moved up a day uh, so it took an extra day to get here these were sent Monday um, early East Coast time and arrived here uh, 
Thursday, just afternoon, West Coast time. These are the Dominican Republic. And apparently these guys get, they're not very big. And they're very, very, they're just a solid, like chrome blue. Oh, they're very fast. Awesome. It's going to be a little tough getting these guys to eat. I'm glad I got those little mealworms. Get some of this stuff off here. So if they climb on the table, they're not going to get lost in a heap of paper. This is awesome. A little web in there, so this one's been crawling around. I gotta be careful. Okay. There he goes. Tiny, tiny, tiny little fella. Look at that guy. See him crawling around in there. He is so small. That is so cool. I mean, this is a pen. Another big pen beside him. I don't want to roll it over like a log. He's sliding down the plastic. Just tiny. Stretched out, he's about as wide as that pen. Climbed right on the brush. Onto the container and off the container. I can see you guys are going to be a little handfuls. Trying to think of the best way to do this. There we go. I don't know if you can see them. Kind of right in the center. Oops, sorry. I can't see anything on the camera, so if I'm lifting it up too high, I apologize. It's, uh... <clears throat> Anyways, it's a live, awesome... <clears throat> These are the Dominican Republics. <clears throat> and... <clears throat> sorry. Yeah, like I said, flu going around. <clears throat> so I'm going to be spending the afternoon rehousing these guys. Actually, they're just going to, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is clean these out. Maybe let's throw a little substrate in the bottom of these, probably fill them about half full, and that's where they're going to go. Um,. Might do a little starter hole for them. I don't think they're going to use a little... I can't fit a hide in there anyway. So... We'll just make a little makeshift hide. Oh, this one didn't make it. This one's DOA. Ah... Uh. There he is. Never made it. Poor little guy. It's in there. The last one I take out of course is not is not alive. 
Let's see how many is that? He's completely dead. He's not in malt or anything. He's just dead. Looks like he was crushed almost. I'll get him. Still checking the paper to make sure that that's not a mold. No. He got crushed. That's him. I'll snap a picture or something close up with this camera. Camera takes good close ups. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't have video. Well, 18 out of 19 is not too bad. I prefer that they all arrived alive. Thank you very much, Canada Post. I don't blame this on Tarantula Canada at all. Um, I blame this on Canada Post. I'll uh, contact Amanda later and let her know what happened. See what she can do through them. I don't know. Anyway, um, these guys are all okay by the looks of it. So we got 18 out of the 19. I only ordered 18, so I got a freebie, but I needed them in, in threes. Too bad this wasn't one of the other ones, or actually, too bad it wasn't any of them that died. But, uh, anyhow, so West Coast Arachnids, um, fairly successful unboxing. Um, uh, thanks very much, trying to Tarantula Canada. Uh, thanks, Amanda, for everything you did. Um, and, uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers by the end of, uh, February. Um, pass the word, please. Uh, I'd like to try and meet that goal. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, bye for now.